The Arctic, a crucible of change. Welcome to the Arctic, a breathtaking yet unforgiving landscape that is warming faster than any other place on Earth. This rapid transformation poses a grave threat to global climate stability. And in response to this urgent crisis, scientists have found an incredible new ally in their quest to understand these changes, the Tara Polar Station. Introducing the Tara Polar Station. Imagine a state-of-the-art vessel, a floating fortress designed to drift seamlessly with the Arctic ice, serving as a mobile research hub in one of the harshest environments on the planet. With its unique oval hull and robust aluminum structure, the Terra Polar Station is engineered to withstand the crushing pressure of ice, offering a sanctuary for scientists dedicated to unraveling the mysteries of this rapidly changing environment. Inside this remarkable vessel, modular laboratories can be reconfigured for a variety of scientific studies, ranging from marine biology to climate science. The vision behind this groundbreaking project was to create a floating laboratory capable of enduring the extreme conditions of the polar regions. Traditional shipbuilding methods simply wouldn't suffice, leading to innovative solutions like multi-pass welding of 20 mm thick aluminum sheets. This cutting-edge construction will allow the station to remain operational for up to 500 days at a time, providing an unprecedented opportunity for long-term study of the Arctic environment. The journey of innovation. But how did this ambitious dream transform into a tangible reality, ready to tackle the mysteries of the Arctic? Picture a place where the ground is never solid where the horizon stretches out in a never-ending expanse of ice, and where the chill in the air bites through even the thickest layers of clothing. This is the Arctic, and it's changing at an alarming rate. The ice is melting, seasons are shifting, and the delicate balance of life in this frozen wilderness is under threat. This is not just a distant problem. The Arctic acts as a global thermostat. Its icy surface reflects sunlight, helping to regulate the planet's temperature. As the ice melts, this balance is disrupted, leading to more extreme weather patterns around the world. Understanding these changes is not just important, it's urgent. A fortress against nature's fury. Enter the Tara Polar Station, a floating fortress designed to withstand the Arctic's brutal conditions. This isn't just any ship. It's a laboratory on ice, built to drift with the packed ice and provide scientists with a unique platform to study this rapidly changing environment. The design of the Tara Polar Station had to overcome immense challenges. How do you build a vessel that can resist the crushing force of moving ice? Traditional materials and designs wouldn't cut it. The engineers and scientists embarked on a mission to create a ship that wasn't just meant to sail through ice, but to become part of the frozen landscape itself. Engineering Marvels The journey from concept to reality began over a decade ago. The first step was to design a hull that could withstand the immense pressure of the ice. They opted for an oval shape, reminiscent of an olive pit. This innovative design helps the ship avoid being crushed, allowing it to rise with the pressure instead. But what material could endure the extreme cold with temperatures plummeting between minus 20 to 52 Duc C? Steel was too heavy and could become brittle under such conditions. The answer, aluminum. Lightweight, resistant to corrosion, and remarkably strong, aluminum remains flexible even in the harshest temperatures, making it perfect for Arctic conditions. However, working with aluminum presented its own challenges. It's harder to weld than steel, and the thick sheets required for the hull about 20 mm were difficult to source. The construction of the hull was a meticulous multi-step process. The lower part, submerged in water, was reinforced to withstand impacts with ice while 6,000 pieces formed the upper part, each one carefully fitted and welded onto the core port with incredible precision. A functional laboratory. Inside the station, functionality was as crucial as sturdiness. The layout was designed with modular laboratories that could be reconfigured based on the scientists' needs. This flexibility was essential as research goals could shift from one mission to the next. Everything was modeled in 3D before construction began, ensuring that every piece of equipment would fit perfectly and work seamlessly together. A critical feature of the station is the moon pool, a large open shaft extending from the deck to the waterline. This allows scientists to lower equipment into the water, even when surrounded by ice, reaching depths of up to 2,500 meters. The moon pool's simple design made it one of the less challenging aspects of construction, 
but it's essential for conducting scientific experiments. Navigating Regulations As construction progressed, another challenge emerged, compliance with regulations. The Tara Polar Station had to meet international and French maritime standards, including the Polar Code, which dictates safety and environmental requirements for ships operating in polar waters. With no existing rules for a vessel of this unique size and shape, new guidelines had to be developed, taking into account the properties of aluminum and the specific conditions the station would face. Sea trials and beyond. But the technical challenges didn't end once construction was complete. The Terra Polar Station had to undergo rigorous testing, first with dockside tests to ensure all systems were operational, followed by sea trials where it would be put through its paces in open water. These trials were crucial for validating the design and ensuring the station could handle the extreme conditions it was built for. The real test, however, would come in the Arctic. The first mission was planned to take the station into the Fram Strait in summer, where it would drift among the sea ice. A second mission would follow in winter, locking the station in a frozen fjord. These missions would not only test the ship's resilience, but also provide invaluable experience for the crew and scientists on board. Crew Comfort and Safety Speaking of the crew, the station can accommodate 18 members at a time. Living and working in the Arctic presents its own set of challenges, including months of isolation, extreme cold, and long periods of darkness. Ensuring their safety and comfort was a top priority. The station was designed with heated cabins, a mess room, and even a traditional steam bath to provide some warmth and relaxation. Every detail was considered, from the layout of the kitchen to the placement of heated closets for drying equipment scientific equipment and environmental responsibility. The scientific equipment also required careful consideration. Instruments needed precise installation to function correctly in the harsh environment. Water flow, electricity, gas supply, and network connections all had to be meticulously planned and executed. The modular laboratories allowed scientists to adapt the space to their needs, whether studying marine biology, climate change, or other critical research areas a new era of research and conservation. The Tara Polar Station is a leap forward from its predecessor, the Schooner Tara, with almost 10 times more scientific space designed specifically for polar exploration. A comprehensive set of instruments will be deployed to study the physico-chemical interactions between the atmosphere, the surface layer of sea ice, and the underlying ocean. Cytometers and other instruments for advanced cell biology will allow experimentation with living organisms and the observation of intracellular phenomena. DNA sequencing tools tested on the Terra schooner will also be deployed on site. The first expedition is set for 2026 as the Terra Polar Station heads to the North Pole, marking a new era of research and conservation. With two ships in action, the next 20 years will be crucial for understanding and protecting our planet's delicate balance. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications.